what's up how's it going this is your love reading for november 25th through december 1st this is for taurus sun moon rising and venus since this is a love reading i do recommend checking your moon and venus signs as well as they may resonate better for you than your sun sign when it comes to a love reading as always this isn't going to resonate for every taurus out there it's not possible you're not all living the same lives if it doesn't resonate don't try to force it to just check out your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here all right, Taurus, here we go. Your overall energy. So the way I read, the overall is always the person that I'm reading for. Now, whether that's you, Taurus, or you cross-watcher, whoever is watching this video right now, this is the energy you're taking on this week in love. Everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you or the person you're dealing with or your combined energy. Okay? All right, your overall energy, guys. The full. Look at ya. <laughs> All right, Aries energy um, doesn't have to mean anything though because it's the energy that you're taking on right now it's jumping into something head first it's like you know I don't really know how it's going to turn out and I don't really give a shit it's just what I want to do right now so I'm going to do it um it's just kind of trusting that the universe is going to work out in your favor and all is going to go well and it is what it is all right so that's cool it is a new beginning too if you're single um you know, it's just an energy of getting out there and going after whatever it is that, that looks like fun to you right now. Okay? Your recent past. And this is the strangest thing. It's the Five of Swords reverse. But this is the third reading I've done today. And every single one, I swear, had this in their past energy. Reverse. And I shuffle so many damn times with both decks um, in between readings. And for it to come up in every reading in the same position reverse that's crazy everybody just must be like done fighting or something um anyway so your recent past the five of swords reverse it's it's coming out of a period of conflict you know petty conflict harsh communication um criticism judgment you know like name calling just dumb shit dumb arguing that doesn't benefit anyone um, it's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if that means anything to you. It doesn't have to. But since it is reversed, it's you are coming out of it, but you might feel like you lost. Like you lost a battle. But I wouldn't worry too much about it because it's in the past and your future looks amazing so far. All right, your present, you have the Knight of Cups. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to mean anything. Um, it's just an offer of love. It's either you moving towards someone or them to you. It's very romantic. It's very flirtatious. It's not super serious yet. You know, it is relatively new, um, but it is genuine. Okay? Your future. Check it out. The High Priest. It's the Hierophant. This is your card. You always want to come up in your reading, and it's upright, so that's good shit. This is commitment. This is major commitment. So while right now it might be all Knight of Cups or they are, in your immediate future, it, this is like, you know, potential marriage. If you're the kind of person that marries, believes in marriage, whatever. <laughs> um, not everyone does. But this is that kind of energy. It's very traditional. And it is like, it's like an elevated connection spiritually, if that makes sense. Um, it's like whatever connection this is or future connection, it will be elevated on a spiritual level. Do you know what I mean? All right, let's clarify and then we'll get your obstacles and your advice. All right, let's clarify the full for Taurus. What are you jumping into, Taurus? Thank ya. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> the three of wands reverse what all right fire energy aries leo sagittarius so you're not really looking towards the future you're just kind of like whatever i feel like doing today is what i'm gonna do today this is kind of an energy of not not looking too far ahead um it's like living in, living in the present and i don't see anything wrong with that at all it's just you know living in the moment i think that's kind of what you want to do not that you should just not have any goals or shit like that it's just you're just really living in the moment right now um what else let's clarify that three of wands clarify the three of wands and the full for taurus 
You guys are spitting them out today. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Um, your energy. All right. Um, it is very grounded. It's very stable. It's like the wife, the mother. It doesn't mean that you have to be female watching this. You know, you could be male and taking on that energy or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so this is kind of a weird one. While you are just kind of living in the moment, not really looking, looking towards the future, um, it looks like eventually you do want something that's super committed and traditional. Um, it's just kind of like you're hoping it, it'll happen. Do you know what I mean? It's like there's no real, there's no real preparations being made for it. But it is your ultimate goal. But for now, you're just kind of taking it day by day. Okay. All right, let's clarify this Knight of Cups for you in the present. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Wow, you guys. I am not having any issues with getting your cards to come out today. You guys are talkative as shit. All right, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Empress. Beautiful. Whether this is you or the other person taking on this energy, it's awesome. It's kind of where you want to be. Um, it's divine feminine. Now, whether that's you or the person that you're dealing with doesn't matter. But this is somebody who embodies all of the qualities of all of the queens in the deck, right? Um, she's fertile. She's abundant. She's grounded. She's loving. She's compassionate. Every single thing that you would want in a person, this would be her. It's a wife, the mother. And again, doesn't have to be an actual wife. You don't even have to believe in marriage. But that's the type of person that she is. Okay? So either you are all Knight of Cups offering this love, kind of rushing in um, towards this person or them to you. And that's awesome. Ladies, um, this could also indicate a potential pregnancy, FYI, if that's your goal. If that's not your goal, it is something to be mindful of. Guys, be mindful of that as well. Let's clarify the Empress for Taurus. Oh, sweet. You guys, man, you're on point. You really are. Um, the Empress is clarified by the Queen of Wands. This is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be dealing with a fire sign. You don't have to be. Um, you've got all of them here, really, so it doesn't matter. Um, Queen of Wands type, though, is the kind of person, now whether this is you taking on this energy or the person you're dealing with, doesn't matter. Um, this person is confident, like hot as shit, life of the party, kind of like everybody wants her, and again, they're only gender specific on the card. It can be a male or female taking on this energy. Um, but this is the kind of person that goes after what she wants or he, whatever. I'm going to say she because it's a girl on the card, so don't be offended. Um, if you are offended, then fuck it. Stop the video. <laughs> it's whatever. Anyway, Queen of Wands. Hot as shit. Like, people want her um, and she knows it and she's confident. So she knows that she can go after whatever it is that she wants and, and she'll get it and not in like a dickhead kind of way just she's just that confident and that goal driven um so that is really awesome again whether it's you or them that's fucking amazing you guys all right let's clarify your high priest clarify the high priest for taurus Oh my God, I can't deal. I can't deal, guys, I have chills. <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> All right, in your future, to clarify the high priest, check this shit out. You have the high priestess. What the actual hell, guys? This is amazing, amazing. You have the high priest and the fucking high priestess in your future. Like, does it get any fucking better than that? I don't think it does. That is amazing. Like, I have chills. That is, like, the most fucking spiritual connection that you can have. So, whatever interaction you're having right now, um, whether you're single or in a relationship, you have something that is so high fucking level in your future. It's ridiculous. 
Like, it, it doesn't get any better than that. I honestly, I don't even know what else I could see here. The Emperor that would make it any better. The Emperor, the, magi the Magician maybe, but this is crazy amazing. Wow. I don't say shit like that too often, guys. I mean, if you've watched me before, um, most of my readings are pretty shitty. I don't mean shitty like I do them shitty. I mean, they're just pretty much for people who are in like bad situations. That's just how it comes out. You know, they're difficult. That's why we come to tarot um, for clarification. But this is like, holy hell. All right, let's just get you an obstacle. Are there even any obstacles? Really? Because something that elevated, I don't really think that there could be a genuine obstacle. If there is, it's just a challenge. It's just kind of like a test, you know? All right. Obstacle for Taurus in love. Okay. All right. Your obstacles. The first one you have is the Eight of Pentacles. This is your energy as well as Virgo and Cap. Blah, blah, blah. See, I can't even talk. That's how shocked I am right now. <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles reverse your energy as well as Capricorn and Virgo. So as a potential obstacle, it, you just want to make sure that you're not in workaholic mode or somebody that you're dealing with isn't because that could be a factor in the relationship. You know, one of you is just working too much. There's not enough time. Or it's repeated patterns, repeated cycles, okay? And the one that came out with it is the world reverse. So it's, it's a necessity to close out a cycle. And I think it's a pattern. I think it's a behavior pattern because Eight of Pentacles is like repetition. It's like repeating the same cycles over and over and over. So one of you needs to stop repeating the same cycles over and over because this right here I'm telling you is different it's not don't get yourself stuck in repeating the same shit that you did in previous relationships um or you know your other person they might need to take this advice and I don't know but this is not the same as something that you've dealt with before okay um so don't get caught up in the same thinking that you had before because it's not going to work in this situation. It's different. It's, it's a higher level. All right. Let's get you some advice, Taurus. Advice for Taurus. Actually, I'm going to pull your advice and I'm not going to read it yet. I just want to pull another one for the high priest and the high priestess here. I kind of don't want to mess it up, but I'm just so blown away that I feel like I need to pull one. Advice for Taurus in love, November 25th through December 1st. Okay. All right. Let's get you a clarifier for the high priest and high priestess. Knight of Swords. Okay. Knight of Swords. Not a bad thing. Didn't make it any, you know, didn't do anything to that connection. <laughs> But this is just communication. It's honest communication. It's like a rushing, um, rushing in. It's something that happens really fast. Um, you know, it's cutting out all the bullshit. It's like coming in, cutting out all the bullshit so that all that's left is this connection right here. Um, you know, it's just, it's absolute honesty, absolute clarity, communication, everything that you would need to have that kind of connection. Okay. Your potential obstacles, not your potential obstacles, your advice. I swear I should just stop this shit. Your advice, the king of wands reversed. All right, as an advice card, make sure that you're not being too controlling, too demanding, make sure the other person isn't, and also make sure that you're not being lazy um, or the other person isn't, all right? King of Wands upright is very goal-driven, very ambitious. Like, he takes fucking action fast, um, right? He moves towards whatever it is that he wants, and he gets it real fucking fast. Reversed? No. There's, like, no motivation. There's no energy. So make sure you're not getting stuck in that place or your person isn't, um, okay? 
if there's some outside influence that is controlling, demanding, verbally abusive, whatever, cut them out of your life. And your other card is the Four of Pentacles Reverse. This is a need to stop holding on to something so tight, whatever that, that is for you. And I think it's just, um, I think it's a belief system, either for you or them, because you have this need to close out a cycle as an obstacle and some unfinished business. And it's, it's all about repeat patterns. So, um, Make sure you're not holding on to past belief systems because, again, I can't say it enough. This is crazy. This is a different kind of connection. The old shit is not going to work in this type of connection. Um, make sure you're not closing yourself off emotionally, right? You see this dude has these pentacles all over his heart. Make sure you're not closing yourself off or they're not. Um, what else? Let's get you another advice. Advice for Taurus in love. Oh, that one's coming out. Nope, it's three. Sorry. <laughs> Advice for Taurus in love. Advice for Taurus in love. Okay. Karma. Reverse. Um, you need to make sure you're using good judgment. All right. Um, something might come up from the past that requires you to use your good judgment. Something that you thought was done, that was dead, it was over with, you didn't have to deal with it anymore. And it might be a behavior pattern that, that this relationship causes to come out of you that you thought you had already dealt with, right? That wasn't an issue anymore. Um, just make sure you're using your good judgment and know that, I don't even know how many times I can say this, this is fucking different, guys, it's different. Um, all right? What else can I say about this? I don't know, it's amazing, really. It's a really amazing reading. Um, huh. I don't have anything else I can say. I don't wanna like pull anymore and make it go off in some crazy direction that it doesn't need to. Um, because where it's at right now looks really awesome and you guys just have to understand when you're dealing with this person with this connection whether it is an actual relationship or one that you're gonna have in the near future um, it is a very different type of connection it's not average it's not normal <laughs> it's um it's very elevated spiritually. That then um, that doesn't mean there's not going to be any issues. It's just it's a different kind of connection. It's not your, you know, everyday mundane connection. It's a very elevated spiritually. It's it's just higher level. Like you guys might, you guys might dream together. You might be able to communicate telepathically, like that kind of thing. It's that kind of connection. It's very very different. Okay. All right. Take care, guys. Have fun with this one.